All right, Mike Gilmore here sitting with, uh, who we got here with us today underneath the helmet here? Hey, Mike Durkin. Boys? Mike Durkin, tournament director. So, uh, in years past, I've made a small commentary on each, uh, each team that I thought had a pretty decent chance of uh, doing well in the respective event, usually during the nibs, or but I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of that this year with the uh, the Tilly. So what I decided to do, Mikey and I decided to do, is just uh, put everybody's name in a, in a bowl and then just come up with some ad lib stuff uh, on the teams that we, uh, we pick from the hat. So I've got this nice Scottish bowl here that I won in the screen door open in 1977. And uh, I'm going to pick some names out of the hat here. So uh, the first name I picked out, let's see here, uh, Pete and Matt Meyer. This is a doozy here. Yeah. Put it this way, Bob Rotella walked off the job <laughs> with these two. This is going to be what I shot on my own ball <laughs> open tomorrow. Young, young Petey boy's going to try to beat up his older brother out there, Matty. And Matty's not going to give in, and he's going to try to beat his younger brother, Petey. What do you think about that, Mike? Yeah. That fair assessment there? Two great competitors. Now, if they're both on and they're, and they're firing away at each other, they got a really good chance of winning. <laughs> All right, you pick out the next one, Mikey. All right. Let's see here. Billy Forsman and Mike Garou. New guy, Mike Garou. Yeah, welcome, welcome Mike welcome, Garou. Mike. Welcome. welcome to Wingfoot, pal. Your partner, Billy Forsman, uses a baseball tee. Tees it up about this high. Right? Yeah, Billy Swing. I saw it down at the range the other day. He looks pretty good. He's got a little beard going. He's looking good. He looks like James Bond, only with a beard. Looks like he's swinging up on that thing from the inside. Looks pretty good for him. I think they got a pretty good chance this week. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, if he has plenty of extra long tees, they could be formidable. How long are the tees that he uses? I don't know. Like that big? Custom? Yeah. Yeah, Redwood? Bigger, yeah, bigger than a pen. Very good. But, um, but well, he's tough. He won a senior club championship medalist one year. Remember? Billy? That's right. Yeah. Those yeah. are the guys you got to be afraid of. You know, the guy who's got like a nine handicap, but they qualify for match play, you know. Club championship. Gotcha. So, All right. Who else we got here? Let's pick another one out. Jim Mitchell and Jed McCarthy. Ooh. I don't know. What time are they playing tomorrow, Mike? They're, they're a little too early. What time? Um, 8.50. So they never I see. I think it's 8.50. I don't know for certain. But they're, they, they don't like to play before noon. So... That's a that's a that's a tough one. It's a strong team, but the early starting time could actually throw off their equilibrium tomorrow, huh? They are fiery competitors, especially Jed McCarthy. Yeah, but they're usually not out of bed by then. What do you think about that factor? Yeah. I mean, you think they could pull it off? Maybe. I don't know. No. I don't know. There's a lot, of, there's a a lot of that. There's a lot of that. There's, you know, with the tee times, there's a lot of guys that usually play early and playing at eleven. I don't know how they're going to do. A lot of guys playing at 7.30. They've never played before at lunchtime, so it's going to be tough. It's real tournament golf now. All right, I, I got an emergency. I got to go. We're going to come back to you later on with the ball. I just got a note passed to me that Greg Rolf's down on the range, and he's shanking the ball, and I got to get down there and help him out. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.